Okay, now after you find k, a cost of security, right? Next is you need to know how to calculate the wage. Uh, you need to find w, okay? The wage for each security in order to calculate the WACC. So we will focus on uh, uh, the, the answer. The question asks you: Should we focus on historical cost or marginal? Marginal means new cost. Uh, if you want to use the capital for your new project, it should be marginal cost, right? It should never be historical cost. So use marginal cost or new cost make more sense uh, to to the firm or to the investor. So. How do, de how do you determine wage for the WACC? We have two kinds of, w uh, we have two kinds of wage. Uh, number one is called historical wage, or the past, right? And the second one is marginal or future wage. Uh, how do we get historical or the past wage? You can look at the component of the balance sheet, okay? Look at the right-hand side balance sheet, and you will see uh, the structure of historical wage. Because all information uh, that already happened from the past will be in financial statements, right? And marginal wage is the wage that you're looking for. Uh, you plan to issue uh, how, many, how many percent for each security. Uh, this is what you plan to do, okay? This is marginal wage. So if we have both historical wage and marginal wage, we later use what? Marginal wage. And here is uh, the example how to calculate historical wage. Okay, you look at the balance sheet. Uh, as you can see, right, the capital structure, uh, we have long-term debt, preferred stock, and common equity. Okay, long-term debt, you got 30 million. Uh, preferred stock, 5, common equity, 40. 40 is come from common stock, 10 plus retaining 30. So it will be 40. Uh, so the total wage, total wage, you make 100%, okay? Total wage is what? You see 30, you take 30 million plus 5 plus 40. So total wage will be 75 million, all right? So now you try to find the BUD. The BUD is the wage for that. Uh, you take 30, right, the wage for long-term debt. Uh, 30 divided by 75, you get the BUD. Uh, WPS, uh, wage for people's stock, you take 5, right, divided by 75 total wage, right? And the WCS, you take 40, divided by, again, 75, you get wage for common stocks. <coughs> uh, this is how you get historical wage. So it's better to estimate the wage using current market value than the current book value. Uh, you go back to this picture, right? Uh, instead of using... Uh, you see the blue color. Blue color represents book value. Uh, it says here, it's better to, uh, for you to use the market value instead of book value. Uh, the market value you can obtain from the uh, security market, right? By using, uh, for example, common stock, you want to find market value, you go to stock market, you multiply uh, the price per share, multiply by share outstanding, right? You will get market capitalization. Uh, you take that market capitalization and replace with 40 million, okay? Because this 40 million is book value, we will use market value instead of 40 million. And we, after we replace with the market value, we try to recalculate the total wage. Now, if you don't know the market value of debt, now sometimes the debt is not being traded in the uh, bond market for your companies, then it's usually reasonable to use the book value of that. Okay, use book value instead uh, of market value if your security is not traded in the market. Uh, example of using market value. Suppose the stock price is twenty dollars uh, per share. There are three million share outstanding. Uh, the firm has five million preferred stock, thirty million of debt, right? So we try to use market value for equity instead of book value. Uh, so market value will be what? 20 multiplied by 3 million share outstanding, so 60 million, right? 60 million. And you know the V, uh, CSV, or value of common stock is 60 million. Preferred stock 5, debt 30. So total wage will be what? 95, right? 95. 
uh, so you can find the WCS uh, from 60, right? Uh, 60 divided by 95. WPS uh, from 5 divided by 95. WD 30 divided by 95, right? And then you get weight, okay? So here is the weight uh, by using market value of equity instead of book value. And what about the BACC? Uh, once you know the BUD, uh, the BUD, and you know, you know K or R, right? You can find the BACC. So BACC equals to the BUD RD one minus T plus the BPS RPS, the BCS RS, right? So put the number into this equation. Uh, you can find all the number from the previous slide already. So you know the BACC will be eleven point zero seven percent. Okay. 11.07%. What about new wage? Uh, you know historical wage already, right? You obtain from uh, financial statements or balance sheet. What about marginal wage or new wage? This is the wage that you're looking for. Uh, you plan to raise, uh, for example, the, the Carter company is considering raising 8 million for plant expansion management estimate using the following mix of financing this project. Okay? So that 4 million is 50%, common stock 2 million 25%, preferred stock 2 million 25%. The company cost of capital is computed as follows. Uh, so that you see marginal wage, marginal wage right now, right, because you plan to do, is 50%. Cost is 9%. So the weighted cost will be 50% multiplied by 9%, you get 4.5. This one is before tax, right? BT mean before tax. Common stock, marginal wage. 25% cost 14% so uh, you multiply 25% with 14% you get 2.5% preferred stock 25% uh, cost 10% so where that cost 2.5% you make summation right of three courses and then you get WACC 8.7% if the return for your project is more than 8.7% cost of the project we should do the project, yes or no? We should do the project because return is greater than cost. On the other hand, if the return is lower than 8.7% cost of capital, we should never do the project. 